um my mind it's kind of all over the place uh but um be honest kind of just still lost words kind of just living in the moment you know like we still in philly we practicing and stuff like that they didn't really give us a chance to really kind of enjoy it you know and understand what we're doing but um man it might hit me once we get out there but I don't know. I'm trying to just kind of just stay in the moment for for. I, I really don't know how to feel, but uh, I'm definitely excited though for sure. In, in a way, it kind of feel like it seems like all week it's felt business as usual. Mm -hmm. You kind of want to know if you're longer here because it's like middle of the season or Super Bowl week. Do you think that benefits you guys to stay in that mindset? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And then um, once you just take literally one day at a time and just keep it like that, one game at a time. The next thing you know, you hear it. So um, that's kind of what it feels like. Uh, kind of focused one game as it as it came came on each each and every week. But the next thing you know, we hear it. So um, I feel blessed. I'm happy for this team. Happy for the organization. I'm just ready for the experience to get out there. I'm ready to get out there. I ain't gonna lie. The run game has been dominant in the playoffs. I mean, over 260 yards against the Giants last week. All rushing touchdowns against what was supposed to be the best rushing defense in football. What kind of confidence is that giving you guys headed into? Uh, tremendous confidence. Just lets us know that we some bad dudes. Uh, honestly, we some bad dudes, and whatever the challenge is, we 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 up for it. Uh, Jalen obviously has been the talk of this team throughout the season, kind of proving who he is. But someone who you guys all say you already know who he was before this season. How have you seen him evolve as a leader, kind of navigating this playoff run? Um, it's kind of been. It's hard to answer that question because um, he's been the same since he's been here. Uh really been the same um he's you he can't really read him you know he's the same same type of dude uh every day and uh, he approaches every day just like any other day so especially the games too he's not too big too high um too uh low or nothing like that it's just he takes what what it is and it just attacks every day before i let you go what's the best piece of advice you've gotten so far in approaching this super just stay focused stay focused you know um if you can, let your family come later on in the week. Got that day where you chilling with them, and then it's, it's about really trying to lock in. So, um, yeah, everybody has um, something that they need to work on in their game. Uh, for me, it's cheating my eye at the top of my routes and things like that. So that's something that he's always on me about. Something that he um, constantly reminds me of. So that's his way of making me better. How does he go about that? Um, just showing me times when I when I do do it. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's the next game, the last game, the most important one. How has this team been kind of adjusted to the bright lights in the big stage? Something you're very familiar with in college. So, so it's something that you're kind of used to, uh, kind of all the, the attention and the outside noise. So how do you think the team has really come together in the last time? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just knowing where you are, um, cherishing the moment, because you don't get here that often. So just cherishing the moment, being in the moment, and embracing it. When you think about training camp, um i mean that's what we prepared to do um all off season um from day one when he when he um came here that was the main thing just making each other better um any little thing in our game that we can help each other with um we do that and i mean that's been the whole thing and just making the most of our opportunities. 10 of the 11 starters on offense for the Eagles were all drafted by the organization. That's something pretty special to the organization as a whole that they can kind of get it right when it comes to drafting and develop talent once you guys get here. How do you say you see this organization really invest in the players like yourself once you're drafted to come here to, to be able to put the best product in? Um, shows that the faith that they have in us to um, draft us here, to keep us here, and everybody just coming in, living up to the uh, expectations and things like that. Hey, whatever it takes to win. We gotta go run the ball 50 times to win. Whatever we gonna do. Oh, uh, I mean, he, he always talk about it. Uh, getting here, he wouldn't know how to act. Hey, right now, I think he's handling it well. Uh, I know he's gonna go out there. He's gonna lead the defense. The way that he's um been doing all year, go out there and make spectacular plays and things like that. But um, I mean he constantly makes me and AJ better, him and Brad Bear, all those guys. So just looking forward to going out there and just watching them do what they've been doing. Are you surprised that he's known how to act? <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs>
do you have your uh, Super Bowl outfit planned out and how long have you had it? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of undecided right now. Oh, okay. Two options? I only got two options. It's either one or the other. How long have you had those options? Uh, just got them. I mean, just every day. Every day working with the guys, seeing how the guys attack and just the de they pay attention to details. You know, that was, that was very big for me. And to see that they, they had that in them, I knew that was going to be special. I mean, he's, he's, he's a $500 million quarterback. He's a hell of a player, you know, and I played him twice last year and you just got to get after him. He's going to make plays, but at the same time, we got to do our job too. Mm -hmm. When you think about the journey earlier in the year to get you to this point, uh, have you had time to like look back and reflect and think, I'm now playing for a Super Bowl? I mean, it's the dream I had, the vision I had. It's shaking out. You know, we just got to get one more, and everything I, I dreamed about, believed in, happened. This defense obviously has been dominant all season, but it seems like there were some doubters until the performance you guys have put together in the postseason. It kind of made people really look at the work that you guys have done. Uh, when you see what you've done through the playoffs, I mean, we don't, at the end of the day, we know what we're capable of doing, you know, and when you have doubters and haters, it just, it just motivates you to be, be better, you know, so at the end of the day, we're just trying to win. We're trying to be the best version we can be and we're, we're doing it. It's been great, you know, it's been great. It's, Sue is a different person and a different in a good way, you know, he comes to work every day. He works hard. He, if you talk to him, he'll talk back to you. You know, so a lot of people say he doesn't talk, but he do talk. He's a good guy. I came a day a day before him, yeah. I mean, we sit next to each other, you know, so we're the two older guys on the team. So whenever I feel tired, he feels down, so like, all right, come on now. We're a package deal. We gotta we gotta do our job. So it's been fun. No, this, uh, I feel like the Giants had a talented group when I was there, but I feel like this tops it, man. I feel like in every room, position room, you have, you just have depth. And it's kind of hard to like have depth continuously. So power out to this team and we got to take advantage while we can. Never had it, 13 years, never had this type of rotation, this type of, power in a group, you know? Everybody can make it look like the ones. That's pretty good to have. This team is interesting because there's a lot of the young players who have never been in this situation before, mm -hmm. but also veteran players who, like Darius Slay, played 10 years in the NFL, has never reached the Super Bowl. How are you guys kind of all managing uh, the inexperience in terms of never being on the stage? We're just talking to them. Okay. Just, just take it day by day, step by time. Just, I don't understand this is a great opportunity. You don't want to pass it up and just, be calm, cool, and collective, and enjoy the moment. What's that's memory, that's the key. What's your memory of being there, especially the week leading up to it, and then mm -hmm. I mean, it was a blur. I mean, this media day is media day. It was a. I just remember sitting down in that room and having that mic in front of me, and continuous people came walking in and out, and it was an experience, man. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I was 20, 22 years old, so it was, it was fun. <laughs>